Shabbat Shalom listeners. You're listening to Primordial Goddess coming at you. I hope you had a lovely day. I hope you're having a lovely night wherever this editorial finds you. May you be in peace and be smiling from ear to ear. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Most High has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Know that this is a spiritual channel. We do not uh, show favoritism towards any type of religions Uh, religion is a doctrination that separates people from their spirit but gives you something material as we were all born in the spirit first manifested into flesh hallelujah just with your thought process you can think of something spiritually manifested into the flesh it is the same here we live in the spirit not in the flesh hallelujah take a deep breath check your spirit As we get into our gratitude for the Most High, Yahuwah, and Him, the Great I Am, the Most High, and His beautiful Son, the King of Light, Yahushua HaMashiach, hallelujah, thank you so much, Toda Rabbah, for being here with us on this starry, beautiful night, we blow kisses to the Shamayim, the stars and the moon and the sun, hallelujah, for always giving us light and keeping the Torah and doing what the Most High says to do. And being the first rulers manifested in light, hallelujah, just like our king of light, Yahushua HaMashiach, who we are now coming to understand is a great representation of the greatest light, which would be the sun, hallelujah. <laughs> We're getting into tonight's reading is Tehillim, Psalms 2, grab your scriptures, as they call it, the Bible, but we do not express that word because that's not an ancient word, scriptures is ancient word. And Sefer means book, so that is truly the ancient word. Hallelujah. Let's begin. Tehillim Psalms 2. Thank you for being here. Why do the Gentiles rage and the peoples meditate emptiness? The sovereigns of the earth take their stand, and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his Mashiach. Let us tear apart their bonds and throw away their ropes from us. He who is sitting in the Shamayim laughs. Yahweh mocks at them. Then he speaks to them in his wrath and troubles them in his rage. But I, I have put my sovereign onto Zion, my Kodesh mountain. I inscribe for a law. Yahweh has said to me, You are my son. Today I have brought you forth. Ask of me and I make the Gentiles your inheritance. You are my Ben. Today I have brought you forth. Ask of me and I make the Gentiles your inheritance. You are my daughter. Today I have brought you forth. Ask of me. And I make the Gentiles your inheritance. And the ends of the earth your possession. Break them with a rod of iron. Dash them to pieces like potter's vessel. And now be wise, O sovereigns. Be instructed, you rulers of the earth. Serve Yahweh with reverence. And rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be enraged, and you perish in the way. For soon his wrath is to be kindled. Blessed are all those taking refuge in him. Hallelujah. Tehillim Psalms 2. Of the praise of the Most High, Yahuwah, Leheka, Hallelujah, our King of Light, Yahusha, HaMashiach. In reference to Psalms 2, verse 12, kiss the Son, lest he be enraged. His Son is Yahusha HaMashiach, our King of Light, who is coming back with fire. So now, listeners, that we have the time, it is 
great indeed for you to show gratitude and thankfulness to Yahusha HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Let's do it right now. All our gratitude and thankfulness to you, Yahusha HaMashiach, our King of Light. Hallelujah. Praise you, Yahusha. Hallelujah. Thank you for doing all that you have done and all that you will do. We are humbly grateful to you and we repent for any and all our sins, not only our sins, but the sins of our forefathers, the sins of our beloved ancestors, and all the children of Yashara. Hallelujah. We repent. Please accept our humble repentance at your feet as we praise you on your father's earth, our father's earth. Hallelujah. All our gratitude to Yahusha HaMashiach. Hallelujah. It's written, kiss the son lest he be enraged. Because he will be returning enraged. And the second half of that sentence is, and you perish in the way. And you do not want to burn up with everybody else who he's going to burn up. All the bad, wicked people. He's going to burn them up. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> For soon his wrath is to be kindled. Soon is right around the corner as we go into 2022 only got a month and a half left hmm. for soon his wrath will be kindled the volcano just the, the volcano lutra lupra the volcano just exploded exploded portions of it fell into the coast heading to the east coast portions of it just fell into the sea Slapris. You guys know what volcano I'm talking about. Look it up online. The volcano that just exploded. Lagras just exploded. Portions of it fell into the sea that's now heading up the east coast to cause a tsunami. But we all knew this was coming, right? The wrath wrath of Yahusha Mashiach. See, the Most High is never, ever, never going to get off his throne. Ever. He doesn't have to. He doesn't need to. He will never do it. He has messengers. He has seraphim. He has seraphim. He has Yahusha Mashiach. He has everything on this earth to send a message to you. Either to do something or do not. He even was so kind to give us a book. Hallelujah. That y'all will not read. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all won't read this book. You should ask yourself, why, why won't I read this book? When this is your saving grace. When this is your way out. This is your ticket to heaven. This is your ticket to Yahusha HaMashiach's land. He has a land. Oh, yes, he does. He definitely has a land. It's not, this is Shamaim is the basis for us, but above it, there's several heavens. It's just like a layered biscuit, biscuit that has many layers, a really well prepared and cooked one. Y'all know I'm a chef. Catch me over at Kimberly's Kitchen. Ha ha. <laughs> to throw that in there. There's several la layers. Yahusha has a layer, a whole kingdom. He wasn't lying when he said, he had a kingdom. That he has another kingdom. He's not from here. He has a kingdom in heaven. 